Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but I felt that given the subject, I'm morally obligated to do it. Just a few days ago, a game released on Steam known as Sprocket Tank Design, or just Sprocket for short, I felt that the fact that it's literally a game about building wacky tank designs that I just had to do a review on the game. This isn't going to be a super in-depth review of every feature since that honestly would need a separate video. I just want to give my opinion on the game in its current form so that you guys can make a decision on whether or not you want to buy it. Before we jump into that though, I want to give just a little bit of background on the game's development. Sprocket has been in development for around 15 months prior to its release on August 26th and is the work of a single developer. I say this mainly because I feel it makes the game's several minor issues forgivable, but let's explore what it does well first. There's really no goal in the game aside from building whatever you dream up, although there are several short missions you can do. These all have different resource allowances which change what sort of tanks you can use or how many of your designs will spawn. For example, if I make a super heavy tank, then I'm more than likely going to be by myself in the scenario, but if I build a smaller tank, I could potentially have a full platoon of my designs to support me. The game also features an internal component system which replaces the traditional health bar, meaning no HP for those of you that might be a deal breaker for. I found the game really easy to pick up and I actually streamed my first play session of the game when it was released so I'll drop a link to that below and in a card if you want to see exactly what it was like for me. There are definitely a few flaws with the game that I've noticed, but like I mentioned earlier, I think they are forgivable. Regardless, I do want to list them so that you know about them prior to getting the game, and so if the creator sees this, they can improve on them. The main issue I had with the game is the suspension. I know that part of it is me not fully understanding all the settings, but it's really tricky to figure out and I have yet to really get it properly working. It currently just feels like no matter how you tune it, the tank just bottoms the suspension out and it leads to your tank having lackluster mobility. The next issue I ran into, which again is partly me probably not setting everything perfectly, is the drivetrain. This issue isn't as bad as the suspension, but it's still fairly tricky to mess with and I think there's room for improvement in the way you design and tweak the engine. I think the ability to custom design the engine and suspension separately from the tank would really help. There also seem to be issues relating to traction which make climbing hills, even with light tanks, a pain. I've also noticed and had others who have played the game mention the fact that currently your tank has a tendency to steer itself randomly. I can't seem to pin this on anything in my design since it happens across the board so it seems to be a game related issue. Other than those complaints and the fact that the current PvE missions are a bit short, I haven't really had many major issues with the game. All in all, for a brand new game, it works fairly well and I'm sure we'll see fixes to many of these issues down the road. Enough talking though, let's hop into the game and I'll show you a bit about how it works. I won't be going into too much detail here since that would take too long and I just want to give a quick example of one of my builds. I'm not exactly an expert builder by any means, and I'm sure with time we'll see some incredible builds, but I was still able to recreate a recent topic I discussed on the channel in the form of the M6 heavy tank. This one probably took me about two hours to complete, but that was mainly just because I spent a lot of time tweaking it to be as close to the real thing as possible. So what were the results of this? Well, it actually performs remarkably close to how the M6 plays in games like World of Tanks or War Thunder. Like I mentioned earlier, there's definitely some traction issues in-game which artificially limit you from crossing the trenches or climbing slopes, but I was really impressed by how true to life the tank performed. I hope in the near future the ability to add rounded armor is added since it will increase the possibilities even further and allow me to perfect my design. All in all, I think this game is easily worth the $20 you can get it for on Steam right now, given the sheer amount of playtime you can already get out of the game. With the plans for this game eventually including more missions, as well as cooperative multiplayer and even some form of PvP mode, I could see this becoming one of the best tank games on the market. I'm planning to make a lot more content on this game over on my second channel, Cone of Arcade, so if you want to see more gameplay before you decide to pull the trigger on it, I'll drop a link below and you can check that out. If you decide to pick up this game, be sure to join my Discord, which I'll also link below, and show me what you build. I've really been enjoying seeing the wacky creations from the people on my server already, and if enough people show interest in the game, I'll likely make a dedicated channel for sharing your creations. Enough of me talking though, good luck with your builds, and I hope to see you back here for future videos.